Hi, I'm Chris Toplak of The Signature Spot, and today's signature short, which is a wrestling story in five minutes or less, is the near death of Harley Race in 1961. On Christmas night, as it became Boxing Day in 1961, Harley and his wife Vivian were driving to her parents' house after a big snowfall totaling about 17 inches. Their car and a tractor trailer full of eggs were both approaching each other on different sides of the hill with a snow drift at the very top. The truck driver ended up swerving into Harley's lane to avoid the snow drift and then swerved again to avoid Harley and Vivian's car. Unfortunately, this proved to be unsuccessful as the cab and trailer would jackknife and collide into Harley and Vivian's car head on, which sent their car reeling about 80 feet. Both Harley and his wife Vivian were both pronounced dead at the scene since their pulses were undetectable. While Harley's body was being transported back in the ambulance, he managed to move his body, which to the amazement of everyone, indicated that he was very much alive. Tragically, Vivian would not survive the crash. And how Harley discovered the news at a Maryville hospital was remarkably callous. Upon waking up, Harley asked the doctor, where's my wife? The doctor responded with, what wife? You don't have one. Had Harley been in a condition to get out of bed, he likely wouldn't have had a doctor either. Vivian was buried the same day, and the couple were only married for one month and were actually expecting a baby. Doctors were prepared to amputate Harley's right leg, but fortunately, Race was sent to a St. Joseph Bone Specialist for second opinion, where the conclusion was to save the leg. A doctor named Joby Kolowski performed the operation, which was successful. Beyond the physical pain of the two metal braces and 12 pins holding his shattered forearm together, along with four screws in his right knee, there was the emotional pain of losing his wife Vivian. They had only been married for one month. As for Harley's physical condition, Dr. Kolowski informed Race that he would be lucky to walk again and his wrestling career was effectively over. Race would respond with, I'll send you ringside tickets to my first match. It took Harley 21 long months to recover, while wearing braces on his legs for 18 of them, plus another three months to recuperate. Upon returning to the ring, Harley invited Dr. Kolowski, who operated on him, to ringside, where the doctor cheered on race in his return. If you ever ask me who the toughest wrestler alive was, my answer has been, and always will be, the King Harley race. Follow the Signature Spot on social media for daily content on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and visit thesignaturespot.com for weekly articles.